Hello, I'm Donald Leggett, and welcome to this edition of Share Views, brought to you by London South East. I'm joined in the studio today by Randy Gruel, Executive Chairman of G3 Exploration, the main market listed coal bed methane gas group, whose roots are in China and whose interests lie in international expansion. Welcome, Randy. Donald, thank you for having me. Great. So you must be a busy man at the moment. We're extremely busy at this current moment, yes, indeed. Okay. Now, we're here to talk about the dividend in specie, which is being distributed. But first, let's talk broadly about uh, coal bed methane gas. What is it and what's the size of the market potential for coal bed methane gas? So coal bed methane dollar has been around as long as coal mining has. Mm -hmm. You degas coal before you mine it. There's a natural desorption from the coal, which is the methane emissions that take place. If you don't capture that methane, it emits to atmosphere, causes pollution and greenhouse gases. On the other hand, it's 100% pure fuel, or 99.9% .9 pure methane. We are exclusively in the business of extracting that gas in a clean environmental manner. How big is the market? It's multi-TCF in almost every country with coal deposits. And certainly in China, which is where we've operated uh, since the mid-90s, several TCF a year of production. So where is this coal bed methane gas found and produced? Who are the big users of it, the big producers of it? Anyone that uses gas uses methane. And what we are producing is pure methane coming from coal origins, if you will. You can have methane from different sources. Our methane emits directly from the coal itself. And where do you provide that gas is directly into the natural gas grid. So you can either provide that directly into any gas pipeline or compress it and use it as fuel for CNG, transport, or on the other hand, compress it and use it for power plants like we do. So it's a, it's a natural grid of any other natural gas uh, utilization. So let me turn you to G3 Exploration and your subsidiary, which is the Green Dragon uh, Gas. Uh, what's, your, what's your current strategy? How would you sum up that strategy? Well, very exciting. Green Dragon Gas assets have been developed by G3 Exploration now for over 20 years. There's about one invested in the assets that are commercially producing and generating cash every day from about 1,500 wells drilled. This was done in collaboration with CNUC, PetroChina, CNPC, and ourselves. Um, the assets have been now commercially producing for over a decade, and we're just today announcing a dividend in species for these very large assets, a multi-TCF resource that is worth significant sums of money which will be provided through a dividend in species to our shareholders of record date tonight. Okay. And if you're holding G3E shares uh, on the 29th tonight, uh, you'll be eligible for a dividend in species, a way of allowing you to return Green Dragon's uh, producing assets to shareholders. So what does that mean for the investors? Well, the investor today could take a view on G3E exploration assets and strategy long term, which is to be a specialist and continue to be the market leader of coal bed methane development. But if you were to make that decision today, you end up with this incremental record date as a shareholder tonight that is eligible for a dividend in species that you should get before the end of Q2. And it seems like an obvious question, so let's ask it. Who are your shareholders? Presumably it's uh, uh, you, you, yourself in person, uh, the company, and institutions and, and some retail shareholders as well? Yeah, if you were to go to our website, you'll see exactly our top ten shareholders, but they are very well-known institutions such as GIC Government of Singapore, Fidelity, Aberdeen Asset Management, Platinum Asset Management, Claremont. So the, the, the very well-regarded shareholders that have been with us now for almost 13 years. Are they supportive? Very supportive, very much looking forward to the dividend in species. I bet they are. <laughs> it's happy days for them. Um, what Green Dragon producing assets are being distributed and what assets beyond that? And how much would you estimate they're worth? And, and how do you actually estimate how much they're worth? So the Green Dragon assets are two, um, Shizwa South, and Chenghua block, so we call it GCZ and GSS. Uh, the two assets have, as I said earlier, a, a, it's a multi-TCF asset. Uh, they're valued by on a present value based on future cash flows. So we've got a clear valuation that we've been doing on these assets for every single year through a competent person's report that is done on an annual basis. 
Um, it's a multi-TCF asset. Each asset is worth about a billion dollars each in terms of each TCF. So this asset is somewhere around about 1.5 billion US based on the investment that we've made and the forecasted cash flow from the wells as they go forward. Is that a gross or a net total? That's net to our interest. Okay. And so we own on GSS uh, a working interest of 60% and on the GCZ 47%. How do you actually go about monetizing those assets? Those numbers sound um, mouth-wateringly large. How do you go about uh, releasing the, 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 the money in them? So what we've done is we announced uh, our strategy clearly that we continue to be a technology-focused entity focused on de-risking and exploration play in coal bed methane. As it comes on to commercial production, larger companies are much better at producing them over decades of con continuous production. In that regard, we hired Citibank and Credit Suisse to be our advisors, and they've been running a very organized M&A process to give the board some options to look at, and I think we're doing rather well in that process. We expect a trade sale on both these assets, um, which will then be provided through a dividend in species back to the shareholders. Sounds great. What kind of time frame might you be running that trade sale over? We're looking for that to conclude in Q2. So this coming quarter, hence the record date today, establishes who gets that dividend. Our intent is to have that dividend issued in Q2, subject to the closing of these two asset sales. Uh, our simplistic approach is that this is a commitment. Uh, Green Dragon Gas is a dividend in species, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of G3E today, but it will be dividend out by the end of this quarter. And by the end of, sorry, Q2. And how has the process been going so far? We're very pleased. Yes. Okay. And um, I hear there's talk about an IPO, a Hong Kong IPO. Um, is that a bit of a backstop for you if the trade sale doesn't work out? Or how would you describe the, the Hong Kong IPO idea? So the Hong Kong IPO is, again, a different mechanism to a dividend in species. I mean, we're running an organized structured process with Citi and Credit Suisse. Uh, they will present to the board the viable options and the valuations of these options. The board will then have to make a decision if we consider the options and, and on a trade sale to be the right value, we shall exercise those. Our backstop, as you correctly said, Donald, is a Hong Kong IPO, which is an absolute avenue that we have to providing a, a, a out from a dividend in species. Okay. Now, uh, G3 exploration will get... Uh, a large sum of money returned to them. What are the plans uh, for the funds? What will you actually do with that money? Two different uh, executions. Uh, the first and foremost will be we will pay down all our outstanding uh, debt holders. So as the trade sale is done and capital is returned back to G3E from the Green Dragon gas sale, the primary source or user process will be to pay off our current debt holders. We expect we'll have a surplus of 100 million US beyond that. Uh, and that we will use to develop our other six blocks that we have and convert them and go through the exact same cycle. So our strategy is straightforward. Um, explore, convert, develop, and sell. And we've got six other trades to do behind the current two trades that we're currently in the middle of. And what kind of time frame will those other six blocks be, be done over? We think we should be trading out of an asset at maybe two, but at least one a year for the next three to four consecutive years. So what you'll be doing is, uh, one by one, getting those blocks ready, ready uh, for, for this process, the sale process. Exactly. At the same time, concurrently looking at new geographies to expand into. Remember, we're a specialist coal bed methane developer. That's all we wish to do. But we're a specialist in converting raw land that may be emitting methane naturally to atmosphere and avoiding those emissions and being able to demonstrate how to produce that methane over decades with a very disciplined deployment of wells that don't, doesn't use any chemicals. Do you have any projects in mind at the moment? We're very keen to look here in the UK. Uh, we're very keen to look at uh, Southern Africa, a few countries down there, mm -hmm. and then possibly India. Because as you say, the coal bed methane is found everywhere. It's everywhere where coal is, and coal's, coal's been everywhere. Yes. Okay. Um, when does the GGZ block come on stream? And what are the development plans uh, for that one? That, is that the first one that comes on stream after the, the current two? Exactly correct. So GGZ is Guizhou, southern 
China uh, a, a uh, province. Uh, we've been developing that block with PetroChina, who's our partner. Mm -hmm. We have a 60% interest. The PetroChina has 40%. Mm -hmm. uh, we think that Guizhou goes into commercial production later this year. Uh, and once again, it should be a block ideally set up for some sort of disposition in 2020. So that's our, our block coming on to sale directly behind um, the current two in Sangshi. Okay. And are you actually interested in retail in, uh, investors? Would you like to broaden your re retail, retail shareholder base? And if so, what would your investment pitch uh, be to those potential new shareholders? Uh, our pitch is rather simplistic. Um, come and join a very sophisticated institutional base that has been with this company a long, long time. Uh, we are a clean energy developer who's had a long track record of doing it right in China. It's a mechanism to give a retail investor a view into clean energy development in China, uh, and hopefully tomorrow in other geographies in a very narrow niche. So it's a clean play in that regard. And in a sense, the, 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 in the, the shareholders get their exit perhaps once a, once a year, maybe once every year or two when you, when you sell your blocks. Uh, without a question. That's when so, they get the dividend. Uh, exactly correct. So uh, we've had a, a clear vision for a long time that we will not waterfall cash flow from one block to the other. Our view is focus on each asset as an asset by itself, mm -hmm. develop it, prove it, sell it, and return that capital back to the shareholders. So as a holder of equity in G3E, tonight, depending on being on the record date into Green Dragon in a dividend species, you are getting a return in that dividend that comes to you because you're a shareholder who got the dividend coming to yourself. And, and we'll keep on doing that over six blocks. Presumably you've had conversations with the institutions and this is how the institutions have said they would, they would like you to operate or, or is this something you've come up with uh, independently? Well, our shareholders are very excited about that policy. We've had that policy. This will be our third dividend in species. We've issued two other dividend species that went very well for the shareholders, uh, and most of them did cash out of those dividends. In those cases, we issued dividend in species into other AIM-listed companies at the time, mm -hmm. uh, and it worked out good for the, the shareholders who got the dividend, who were then able to monetize that dividend through a sale. Uh, and this particular dividend today, uh, it could be simply cash instead of getting equity in Green Dragon that could be listed in Hong Kong as a backstop, but more likely cash. Mm -hmm. Randit Grohl, uh, Executive Chairman of G3E, thank you very much for uh, uh, joining us today. Thank you. That was extremely interesting. Thank you, Donald. Thank, thank you for you. your time. For more interviews like this one, please click on the London South East logo at the end of the video to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.